For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add or edit content in a Joomla CMS website uh, from the front end specifically. So here's my dummy website here, lots of content in here to work with. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is log in from the front end. So maybe um, if we didn't want to have a login available like that, uh, we might have something down like a link in the footer might be another area where you can um, log in from. So once you're logged in, you'll notice that a new icon gets added to every article that wasn't there before. Um, and it's usually right beside the print or the email icons if you have them there. So not all designs will be made the same, but um, generally speaking, something's going to appear once you log in if you have editing abilities with your uh, login information that you're given. Um, so if I, uh, I'm going to go to a different page here. So here's a regular old page and I've got my edit icon here. I'm going to click in. Opens up this editor. Not all editors uh, look the same as well. Um, some would have less than this, some might have more, and some might be different colors, but uh, generally speaking they all work about the same. So I have a title on my article here. I might want to change that. Save that, changed my title. I'm going to go back in and do some more editing. Um, let's say I want to change this um, title here to a little bit bigger. So maybe I want to work with uh, H1s, H2s, H3s. Generally speaking, H1 is going to be the biggest, H2 is a little smaller, H3s are smaller than that. So it's not the beginning of the page, so I'll, I'll put an H1 there. And maybe I want to emphasize some of my text by making it bold. Maybe I want to do a little underline. So I can do some of this stuff, all very similar to Word. Um, if I want to edit a link or create a link, um, you'll notice as soon as I clicked on that that these um, edit link um, icons highlighted, so I can click on them. And uh, I'm going to change that link to something else. And this is uh, set to open up in a new window, but let's say I want to keep it to open up in the same window, which would mean I would be leaving the site, which mm, might not be the best. So I'm going to go back to blank, meaning new window. Um, I can add uh, images or I can edit images. So um, in this one, let's say I want to swap that out for something different than I've already uploaded. I would go into here and maybe change it. Um, actually. Let's add a brand new one. So we'll go down here to Image. This opens up a new window. And in here, I can um, browse my computer and upload and find a new image if I want to. And um, start upload, that would upload it. Um, it would put it into here once it's done. And I can cruise through there and uh, find something that I like. So here's a picture of me. I'll add that. Click on uh, me and insert. And there I go. I'm in there. I can make myself smaller, make myself bigger if I need to. Uh, generally speaking, you want to have resized your image to the size it's going to be before you put it in. We don't want huge uh, images that are take forever to load. Um, so that works fine. Uh, maybe I want to change these bullet points here from bullets to numbers. Like the bullets, like the numbers do all sorts of things. Maybe I want to change this here to a different color, to red. Maybe I want to emphasize it and uh, make it bigger. So it's generally, I mean, we can do a little bit of this stuff, um, but it's not a necessarily a good idea to change it. Um, like, I want to change it. Oh, I don't like the red. I want blue. Oh, no, I don't like the blue. I want back to red. And the more times you change it, the messier the code's going to get behind, so it's not such a great idea. There is a little button here called clo Code Cleanup, but uh, it doesn't always work that perfect neither, so I'm just going to get rid and leave it. Try not to do that again. Um, so there's all sorts of things you can do. You could um, center your text. It's pretty flexible. If you know a little bit of HTML code, you can go into this here toggle editor at the bottom. And that'll 
I'll show you what the code looks like behind if you really need to boggle yourself. Um, so that's it. Once I'm done editing my website, or my web page, I should say, I just push save. Simple as that.